Now let's use several detailed examples to learn how to use the basic VLAN configurations. First, let's look at this example. So if we want to configure using the interface-based VLAN assignment and assume such a network, we have two switches and they are connected with each other and they provide access for two different VLANs, okay? Now let's look at how to configure. Actually, we should configure the interface connected with the PCs as the access internet access interface and we should configure the uh, interface connected with switches as the uh, trunk interface okay now this one we first set create the vlan in switch one we need to create vlan 10 vlan 20 and that's all okay or we can use this command to create multiple vlans now let's configure the interface one by one. So for interface one, we need to set its type as access and give the default VLAN ID as 10, that's all. Similarly, for interface two, we can also use these two commands to do that. Or we can use another way to configure. For example, we can go into the interface and to give it a VLAN ID or we can go into the VLANs view and bind the port with this VLAN, okay? So after this, those two configured successfully. And then for interface three, for this one, the type is trunk. For the default PVID is one. And then which VLAN ID we should allow to pass? Actually, we should allow both 10 and 20. So this command. That's all. Then let's check whether it's correct or not. So we can check the VLAN by command display VLAN. Now we can see that besides the original existed default VLAN, VLAN 1, we have already created two more VLANs. And for each VLAN, we have its corresponding port. So for one, we only have the port 3. And for VLAN 10, both interface 1 and interface 3 can allow VLAN 10 to go through, but one is untagged, one is tagged. Similarly, for VLAN 20, we also have two interface binding with this VLAN. Okay, so the configuration is successfully configured. Now let's look at another example. If we need to set up the interface as the hybrid interface, how to do the configuration. Now in this example, because these two VLANs traffic want to communicate with another server, so we, we can use hybrid for all these interfaces. Now the configuration will be like this. First, let's go into the switch one and then we create three different VLAN, 10, 20, and 100. Interface one, we should configure it into hybrid interface, and then we should give its default VLAN ID, which is 10. And then we should set the tagged permission list and untagged permission list. Here, because all the package go from this interface should be untagged. So we only give the untagged permission list to be 10 and 100. So packet from this can go into it. Packet from itself, VLAN can go into it, okay? So yeah, and finally we need to assign the interface. That finish the configuration of port one. Now let's go into the interface two. And similarly, we should set the type, set the default ID, and set the untagged VLAN. That's all for uh, interface two. Now let's go into interface three. And in interface three, we only need to set the type and the tagged permission list because all the packets from here should be tagged. And they have no, their default PVID is one, so we don't need to reconfigure it again. Similarly, for switch two, we can configure for the interface one and interface three. Each one, this one is similar as this one, and these are similar as this one. 
So finally, we can check our configuration by display VLAN. We can see that in switch one, we have four different VLANs. So for VLAN one, they only have this untagged interface, one, two, three. And for 10, actually both interface one and three are allowed. And similarly for 20, both two and three are allowed. And for 100, both 10, uh, both one and two are allowed. Okay. Uh, all one, two, three are allowed. And you can see that for this interface that is untagged and for this interface that is tagged. So the configuration is success successful. Okay. We have already introduced how to configure the interface based VLAN. Now we introduce how to configure the MAC address based VLAN. So these are the basic configurations. We need to do the association between the MAC address and VLAN using this command. And also we, in the interface, we need to enable the association between MAC and VLAN. So that's all for basic configuration command. This is the example. So now if we want to configure the VLAN 10 by assign its MAC address, then we should do the following configurations. So first we need to create VLAN 10 and then we should go into the VLAN 10 to use the MAC VLAN MAC address to associate the MAC address with this VLAN. So we have three different MAC address to be associated with VLAN. And then we should go into the interface to give the type of the interface and also give the default VLAN ID. So for this interface, we should set it as hybrid and we should give the VLAN 10 to be the permissioned tagged VLAN ID. And also for interface two, we have the hybrid setup, right? The type link, the links type should be hybrid. And also we should give the permission to VID and the permission of VID is untapped, it's 10. So similarly for this one and this one, we should all configure using these two commands. And finally, we should do the MAC address VLAN association. So we need to enable the MAC and VLAN association. So we need to go into the interface two to do the uh, MAC VLAN enable. So after these three steps, after we associate the MAC, VLAN, uh, MAC address with VLAN, after we set the link type of the interface, and after we enable the MAC and VLAN association, the address-based VLAN assignment has been successfully configured. Okay, so now let's verify the configuration. So if we display VLAN, then we can see there is one VLAN 1, there is VLAN 10, and for each VLAN, the corresponding interface associated. And if we look at the MAC VLAN association relationship, actually that is using this command to see. And you can see that there are three different MAC addresses associated with VLAN 10. So the configuration is successful. Okay, so that's all for this lecture. Actually, in this lecture, we described the VLAN technology, why do we need a VLAN, and how to configure the VLAN. Uh, we learned the um, functions, the identification, the assignment, the data exchange, the planning application, and also the basic configurations of VLAN. Actually, the VLAN technology can divide a physical local area network into multiple virtual local area network. And this uh, virtual local area network has its own broadcast domain so that the network device in the same VLAN can directly communicate, but the devices from different VLANs cannot.
Okay, so that's the basic motivation of VLAN. And now you should know when to use VLAN and how to configure the VLAN in different applications. Okay, so that's all for today's lecture. Thank you.